Hey everyone, Matt here, picking up where we left off in Crossing Souls. Gonna enter this treehouse and get this adventure really started. Oh, this is a neat skate park. They have an R2-D2. And it's called a skate park. This, this was a robot that was in that film. You can use it to make waffles, too. Oh, that's cute. You want some? It's pepperoni with peanut butter and cranberry jelly. Oh. Ew, how can you eat that? My second breakfast. His body doesn't maintain itself, you feel me? That combination sounds disgusting. What do you mean disgusting? I like pepperoni, I like peanut butter, and I like cranberry jelly. Combine them all together and the result melts in your mouth. That's disgusting, Biggie. You guys have no idea how to appreciate hot cuisine. Yeah, we we have no idea how to pre- Oh my god. I'm simply misunderstood. <laughs> see what Kevin's secret is. Have you any idea what Kevin wants to show us? No idea, but he's your brother if you don't even know. The storm. Did you hear the storm last night? <sighs> oh, excuse me. Brief yawn. I'm still kind of just waking up. Just getting started early. Yeah, it was immense. I couldn't get to sleep at all. I thought the sky was going to break apart at any moment. I don't like to admit it, but I was a bit scared. Oh, I think I already talked about that one. You know what they say, the barking dog loses its bone. I guess? Wow, Matt has like a whole workstation here. She's just lounging. We have a sword. Is that Alex kid? Lightning, lightning, lightning cats! Oh my god. There's always been something weird about these troll dolls, but collecting them is cool. It's like Dragon Ball Z and like Alex Kid, I think. Oh, they got a Dungeons and Dragons poster. All right, that's enough goofing around. Finally, bro. I was worried. Hey, don't sneak off like that again. Mom gets really worried, you know. And then I get told off. Boo hoo! My big brother is worried about me. What is this Armageddon? Sure, those zombies didn't eat your brains on the way over here. That's enough squirt. Like I said, if something happens to you, I'll be the one to get it in the ear. This is very weird phrasing that these kids use. Okay, now down to business. Do you want to know what I found this morning, or would you prefer to keep playing dollhouses with these woozies? Hey! I heard you. How rude. Haha, <laughs> he called you woozies. <laughs> wow. Oh, maybe he meant wussies. Wow, Kevin, Kevin's got a mouth on him. I'm not sure though, is woozies like a different, like, that's not how they spell wussy. Oh, okay. Okay, so what is it you want to show us? Ha, finally, come over here. You're not going to believe it when I tell you. Okay, so what is it that you want to show us, Kevin? You have me on the edge of my seat, man. Ha, you're not going to believe this. You're going to freak out when I tell you. Come on, Swart, give it up already and tell us. Okay, okay, so I was over at the lake this morning doing some wheelies on my bike. Mom's going to kill you when I tell her. Don't interrupt me, idiot. What was I saying? So, I was doing a wheelie and I had to stop because there was a trunk near the shore. A guy was sleeping on top of it. I wanted to get the hell out of there in case he shouted at me, but he wasn't moving. The guy wasn't moving. He was dead. No lie. Honest to God, there's a dead guy at the lake. What? A dead guy? That's scary, dude. What's a dead guy doing at the lake? Oh my god. Spooky, right? You have to see this. It's amazing and disgusting. Hey guys, I don't think it's a good idea. A dead person is a source of infection. What if the police are looking for him? What if we get into trouble? Don't be a chicken, Matt. We have to see this, even if far from far away. Yeah, at least from far away. Okay, if you guys insist. But it has to be our secret. Who knows what trouble we might get ourselves into. You have my word, our secret. I'm already in enough trouble as it is, but this is worth it. It's scary as shit. Okay, so where is it? Is it close? Yeah, it's really close. I can almost smell it. It's... Ew. It's the path that runs in to the left as soon as you leave the treehouse. Hope I don't live to regret this, Squirt. Think about it. It's like one of those paranormal activity films. Who knows? Maybe we'll solve some super famous mystery. Did they have those back in the 80s? Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, don't get carried away. Be so hard on your brother. He's little. Yeah, okay, I'll try. Oh, Charlie, you should come out with us more often. <laughs> She's going to defend him. This little troublemaker is full of surprises. His tiresome jokes and hyperactive nature are sometimes as powerful as bombs.
Ha. So I don't have. So I don't have any actual combat activities, just scat humor. Okay. Off the treehouse. There we go. Oh! Right, you take fall damage in this game. I forgot about that. Yeah, so it turns out this uh, beta build so far does not have uh, a save feature, which is fine. But uh, it, I played last week and immediately tested it as soon as I was done recording. So some items can be stored. You can select them with that with the cross and then use them by pressing Y. Oh. The sweet treat will refill hearts of the active character. Select it with and use it by clicking Y. Alright. Settings. Audio. The music will... Oh. The music will reset to 100 every time. And the sound effects I had at like 70. And it apparently was at 0. Even though we all just heard it. Uh, I think I can turn it up a tiny bit more. Oops. I'll just... 90, there we go. Okay. Pampana Lake. There's a little glowing pink triangle for the loading screen. Just now kind of notice that that's even a thing. Oh, this is all tranquil. Uh-oh. Wait, what's that one power line doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Some wires just hanging off. Oh, I guess if it's cut on both sides, you don't have to worry about it shocking anybody. Looks like those damned purple skulls are everywhere we go today. You know those two skinny runts crawled out from? Sh shut up, they're gonna see us. Oh, okay. Because they didn't already. Wow! Randall's got some weird eyes. Tell the boss sees this. He's gonna promote me for sure. Okay, listen, you wait here and I'll go tell Quincy Queen we can show him. We can even pretend like I killed him. Ha, ah, that would be so cool. It'd be the baddest of the purple skulls. Listen, maybe best if you go tell him and I'll wait for you here, okay? Well, he's got another thing coming. Who's there? It wasn't me, I swear. He was dead when I got here. Wow. A pair of babies. I was the one to discover the dead guy. Arr, it's just you guys. You scared me. What's up? Get out of here. This is our patch and we do what we like here. Oh, yeah? And what if I don't? I'll make you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay. I don't know what that means. I don't think this is your patch. Oh, ho, ho, big bro coming to, to the defense. You guys are scum. What? You're the scum. I didn't know they set the bar so low to get into the purple skulls. Hey, that's enough, big guy. I don't know what you meant by that, but you better take it back now. Big J means is that you've got no reason to be here now. Get out of here before the police arrive. Police? What do you mean, police? That's right, the police. You guys choose. Either leave now or wait for them to arrive. Hmm, alright, let's get out of here. But not because you guys say so, but because we want to. We do whatever we want. We're hard guys, you know what I mean? Arg! That's it. Run away, rat bags. Kevin, you need to ease up on the sugar. It makes you violent. <laughs> Never! There's nothing better than the smell of waffles in the morning. I don't think waffles have sugar in them. Maybe the syrup, but not the waffles themselves. Okay, shall we get going? Where's the dead guy? Wow, she looked really optimistically... Like, really optimistic while saying so. Saying all that. Over here, let's go. Shit, I don't know whether I'll be able to get used to this. Hmm. Yeah, I guess he doesn't have any weapons or anything, I guess? Yeah. Take it, you little spiders. Hey, come back here. There we go. Let's see if there's any treasures down here. Oh, there is. 
All right. All these so oh my god. Oh, what's this? Stains. Blood stains? Oh wow, he got his head like bashed in over here. Wow, you weren't lying, Kevin. There's there's a first time for everything. See, I told you it's it's amazing. Is he is he dead? Like really dead? Looks that way. Looks like he's been there for a while. Based on his skin color, I'd say no more than a day. Although the level of decomposition is pretty high. He looks like a mummy. I can't. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Biggie. Get it all out, big guy. There's no way this scene could get any grosser now. Kevin? Oh, Kevin. You okay, Big Joe? Yeah, I'm better now. Wow, I'm s sorry. I hope I didn't splash you guys. Don't worry about it. There's no way I was getting out of having a bath this week anyway. Wow. I like I had imagined. That was a person. Best not to think about it. You're all gonna... Told you all you were gonna freak out. We've just become real men. Even you, Charlene. Very funny. The only reason you're not getting a smack is because you're Chris's brother. Hey, thanks. Uh, don't start drooling now, man. What are you on about? Hey, sorry to interrupt. Do you see that? That guy has some kind of amulet in his hand. Let's take a look. It's true, it's a bright pink color. But it's worth millions. Should we steal it? Okay, let's not get carried away. But yeah, we should take it. Technically, it's not stealing. He is already dead. Yeah, it's more looting, which is not the same. So, should we take it? Chris? Bro! Chris? Chris! Oh my god. Okay, guys, let's do this. Kind of a choppy animation, but eh, still nice. I don't really see that in these pixely games. Wow, what's that? I have no idea, but I've got a bad feeling about this place. Looks like an Egyptian pyramid, but what material is this? Why is it so bright? It's as if it has some kind of special power. Like I said, it's a jewel. Made it belong to one of those mega famous pharaohs. Now we're gonna sell it and get rich. Just imagine the richest people in the world. I don't think that's going to happen. To start off with, it was obviously stolen. That guy was probably in hiding or running away. He's not from around here, and this is no this is no watch. There was a reason he kept it with him. You're right. What's more, if we tell people that we have it, people will think that we stole it, and they'll probably put us in jail, or worse. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But you're right. We can't tell anybody, just in case. Who knows what we could get ourselves into. Right, everybody? Definitely, bro. Yes. Oh, farewell, infinite wealth, world fame. Don't be so cynical. Guys, I was thinking, you see, the power it radiates? I can't stop thinking about it. As you know, recently I've been working with gamma rays. What about if we take the stone to my house and run a couple experiments on it? That way we'll know if we're, what we're dealing with. What's more, it might be radioactive and and have and we have no idea. Also, that guy is wearing some kind of scientist's coat. It's obviously not any old gem. What do you guys think? Cool, let's go to your lab and run a couple of experiments. That way we can find out what the hell it is. What you said about it being radioactive is freaking me out. Oh, it's a little late for that. Let's go then. That stone would change their lives forever. Alright, cool. It didn't make us walk back manually. Okay, I've been investigating and in truth I'm just taking shots in the dark. I don't know what element or elements this stone is made up of. They don't appear on the periodic table. Its composition is different. Yep. You don't mean it's from outer space, right? I don't know. Maybe it's some new synthetic material or an element that has yet to be discovered. Or it could be from outer space. Or even another dimension. So what, Matt? Don't tell me we've been here for hours for nothing. Not at all. You see, I've made a few educated guesses. There is no scientific basis to them. But just because we can't explain something accurately doesn't mean it isn't possible. Right, so what do you think? We've been here all day. Uh oh Okay, get ready. Boring. Okay, so based on the fact that the dead guy was dressed like a scientist, we can deduce what I just said. That this is something completely new, either an experiment or a discovery, which means it is a secret. Ooh, this just got interesting. Stop interrupting. 
problem is that I've not been able to find any information about it anywhere. On my dad's computer, I've accessed the government's research department, and there is nothing there. My dad has access to quite a lot of classified information for his work as a consultant, but, but there's nothing on this stone. What I mean is, it's a massive secret, so this does not leave the room. Agreed? Dang. Ha, they all look at, uh, Kevin. You bet, we can't tell anybody about this. We would definitely get in trouble. So you have no idea where it came from? Oh yes, this is where it gets interesting. The stone is radioactive, which is great because we might already be contaminated. But whilst I've been inspecting it, I realized something. The light it emits is attributable to the surrounding material it consumes. If I hold it for a long time, I get really tired. This thing feeds off of energy, and if you don't have power sources close by, it can drain you of your life. Seriously? Thank God I've not touched that thing. Maybe it would drain you of your spare tires, fatty. Wow. Very funny, four eyes. Damn. So that thing feeds off energy. Is it like... Is it a light bulb or something? Something like that. I think it's a type of key or portal. Portal to what? This is where it gets a bit crazy. I've been studying Egyptian symbols and I can't get past the similarities. You know how I love this stuff. I found some similarities with the legend of the... Duat at the Duat? I don't, I don't know what that is. And all legends and myths have some element of truth about them. What legend is that? According to the Egyptians, the Duat is a, is a space in which souls wait for Judgment Day to pass into the afterlife or to be destroyed by beasts from the underworld. It's a bit like being in limbo. What links this theory to the evidence is that the stone can drain you of your life. It's as if it had the power to send you to the place of limbo, the Duat. Are you saying that stone is capable of transporting you to another dimension? I know it sounds ridiculous, but I think so. That's way cool. What are we going to do with it? I mean, if I use my knowledge of gamma rays, we could create a power source that is big enough for it to not drain the life from us. And maybe we could use it or see how it works. Do you have the material to do that here? I think so. A gamma bar should do the job. A what bar? A gamma bar. I use them to generate power, but they are really difficult to come across. I can't remember where I left the last one. Look for it in my lab and bring it to me. I, I, It can't have gotten that far away. Found it! Already? Where? Hmm. Alright, well I guess I'll go on this treasure hunt in the next episode. So until then, take care everyone!